Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install MSI Afterburner and add an in-screen overlay onto any games or application you want to use for FPS or GPU or CPU monitoring, monitoring usages. So the first thing you'll, you guys will want to do is just go to Chrome or whatever you use and just type in MSI Afterburner. Uh, to get the latest download from it and just click the first link um, this will bring you to this page which you can just accept this um, and if you scroll down all the way there should be a download that pops up here so currently I'm on a Windows PC um, and it looks like you can only do it on a Windows PC um, a Android device or I'm not exactly sure what this is but for now we're just going to be downloading MSI Afterburner and let's not download the beta download because um, that's just in testing so we'll just download the regular version and as we wait, wait for this to download we can just open it in the folder uh, right click it and extract all and that should just open your uh, unzipping program and extract it. Okay, it'll pop this little window up and you can double click on this and just run this file. Okay, I can just go through the typical setup wizard for any program. Um, I'm just gonna keep going, accepting everything. And an important thing to have here is for the on-screen display, you need to have this RivaTuner statistics server installed along with it. And this will just, um, this is a package on top of MSI Afterburner that allows you to, to display the overlay onto any application. So I'm just going to continue along this. Uh, you can place this wherever you want. I just have it on a separate hard drive here. Next. And then, yep. Then as we wait for this to install, it'll likely pop up another window to install the RiverTuna statistics server, um, which should be popping up right about now. Yep. And you just go through the same setup wizard for this, except, uh, again, it doesn't have to be in the same place. I just happen to have it on the same drive. Install and you can just wait for that to install okay so now that this is done you don't need to show the readme because that's kind of useless uh, finish that and uncheck to show readme but leave this run msi afterburner checked just so you can just run it once it's done and you can just exit out of all your file or chrome windows at this point so now it'll pop up this window with the latest version of MSI Afterburner and um, it will also have, um, should have, or maybe it hasn't run yet, but to run the Rivetuna statistics server, um, I believe all you need to do is just uh, hit your Windows key and type in Rivetuna, yep, and hit enter. And then select yes, let it run up, and then it will probably show up down here. You have to click this uh, upwards carrot icon, and then you can select this, and this will show up this display here. So once you have these two windows open, all you got to do to show the display is to go into settings on MSI Afterburner, and it will show up this pop-up window. Now the tab you want to be on is not on screen display, not like you might think, but it's actually monitoring. This is where you choose what you want to be displayed on the overlay. So I'm just going to, you can just click these check marks to um, uh, undisplay them from the overlay. So I'm going to have CPU usage. Um, I'm going to have the CPU clock, 
um, I'm just unchecking all of these because they'll just take up space. I'm gonna have C CPU usage. Again, unchecking all of these to save space. Uh, CPU temperature. It's a pretty long list, so it might take a sec to go through it. I don't need any of these. Um, this seems about right. Memory usage, I will keep. Uh, bus usage, don't need that. Don't need that. And I'll keep both of these as well. Um, so I'm also going to select some frame rates. So frame rate here. I'll select the minimum average and actually I'll select the 1% low average and max. Um, so that's all I'm going to have here. If you want to see it, I'm just going to scroll through it slowly. So I have frame rate 1% low, frame rate max, frame rate average, frame rate, RAM usage, CPU clock, CPU usage, CPU temperature memory usage, GPU usage, and GPU temperature. Now, all of these different uh, aspects of the overlay can be adjusted just by clicking on any one of them. And you can adjust the color of it shown in the overlay, as well as whether it's a text or a bar chart or a graph, such as GPU usage sometimes shows it here. Um, now, the only thing that you have to do now is actually select on all of these ones that you have checked and hit on screen display. And this will actually display it here. and then you can just hit apply. Um, and you should not need any of these unless if you want to be able to toggle the on-screen display, all you have to go to all you have to do is go to this tab and hit uh, toggle on screen display and you can change it to whatever key you want. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use how about F9. That sounds about right. Now whenever you hit F9, it will toggle the overlay on or off. So now that you have this applied, uh, you should not need any more of these tabs unless you want to capture the screen, which I'll save for another video because that's a bit more complicated. So you can select OK here, and now you should be done with this app. So you can just minimize that. Now we're on to the Rivatuner statistics server. And for now, I'm going to have the application detection level on high. This just makes sure it runs on almost every 3D application you have. And that'll it'll show the FPS and all the overlay stuff. And up here, you want to select on for show on to screen display, because that's pretty much the whole point of this video. Uh, you can choose whether to start with Windows or not. I choose to have that off because it's a bit annoying and takes up time for the computer to load up. Um, all of these options I'm going to ignore because they aren't really applicable to what I'm doing right here. So I'm just going to focus on down here. So these different rendering modes, um, they basically just change how the text looks, honestly. So like it looks like that for Vector 3D. I choose to have Raster 3D because I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I just have this on viewport. Honestly, don't know what it does, but viewport is nice to have it on. Um, now the shadow, uh, this just helps it have contrast against the background of your game. Uh, I choose to have this on because it's better for videos. Uh, on screen display fill, it's this black background here. Um, also better for contrast against the game itself. And these things, you can change the colors of the base color, which is the text. I have it on a dark red. You can change the shadow color, which is the shadow of the text. 
and you can change the fill color, which is this background here. Now zoom, that just adjusts the size. I'm just gonna keep it here because I've figured out that that's a pretty good size for my screen. Um, and then these corners here, you can click on them. And you can also drag this box around, by the way. So that's pretty cool for movement. Um, but what these corners can do is if I selected this corner, this uh, frame box here would show up up in this left corner here. If I choose this bottom one, it'd show up down here. If I choose the top one, it shows up, it shows up, up here. If I choose the bottom one, it shows up down here. So I personally like to have it on the top left corner just because that tends to be most out of the way on most games I use. Um, and once you have that done, that should be it for Rivetuner. Make sure not to X out of it, but to just minimize it. And now, for example, I'm going to be using NVIDIA's Pen G-Sync Pendulum de demo, which is just a little 3D rendering. Um, but this will work on any game. So if you just double click on your game or your 3D application, you'll see that it all shows up up here. So I have the FPS right here. I have the current RAM usage, I have the CPU temperature usage and clock speed, I have the memory usage, um, and I have the GPU temperature as well as the GPU um, usage. So now let's say this isn't a really good spot because this spot is uh, free up here. All I need to do is exit out of this, go back into this upward character to show hidden icons, uh, click on Rivetuner and just select this top right corner. Then you have to restart the application and there you go, it shows up right here. So I can adjust the um, FPS rate. So now it shows up about this FPS with all of the other info as well here. So that's going to about wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.